Hello and welcome to What The Hey, where I'm your regular host of What The Hey, and today in What The Hey, I'm once again answering yet another question. When I go into the magical composition book knowledge, I see the question of what the hey is Bendy and the Ink Machine? Now this question was asked by Scotto Dawkins, so hello to you and thank you very much for asking the question. So as far as the basic description is concerned, Bendy and the Ink Machine is a horror-styled video game where it follows the idea of the main character going back to an old animation studio that they used to work for. The game itself was developed by Kindly Beast, aka the Meatly Games. The game was also published by Kindly Beast as well as Rooster Teeth Games, which I'm familiar with Rooster Teeth Games, so when I saw that I was like, oh that's actually pretty cool. The game was designed by The Meatly, Mike Mood, Matt Goals, and Dan Tozer. And the person who did the awesome work has a really cool last name, but their first name is Pascal and I don't want to mess up their last name, so there's their name on the screen. They're cool. And then finally, for a basic fact, the game was written by The Meatly as well as Book Past. The game itself has five different chapters to it, so I'll list those now. The first chapter was Moving Pictures in 2017, the second one was The Old Song also in 2017, the third chapter was Rise and Fall also in 2017, Colossal Wonders was in 2018, and the last reel was 2018. The game is single player, so if you're expecting to get help from some of your friends while completing the puzzles, that's not really gonna happen. You can watch like a Jacksepticeye or a Markiplier playthrough if you want. Now I'm gonna go through the list of characters. There's a lot of them. A good amount of them are actually just voice recordings that you can like access for like story purposes. So as far as characters go, you have Henry Stein, Joey Drew, Wally Franks, Thomas Connor, Sammy Lawrence, The Projectionist, Alice Angel, Jack Fane, Sean Flynn, Grant Cohen, Bertram Piedmont, Lacey Benton, and Allison Angel. As far as some main characters go, you have Ink Bendy, Boris the Wolf, The Butcher Gang, The Searchers, The Lost Ones, and The Swollen Searchers. A lot of people remember some of the characters like Ink Bendy and Boris the Wolf because you see them throughout the game. Uh, some of them help you and some of them don't. It's also very cool because one of the characters I previously mentioned, Sean Flynn, was actually voiced by Jack Septicai, which is really awesome. If you want to look it up, there's reaction videos where people who are doing Let's Plays of Bendy and the Ink Machine get to the part where they hear Jack Septicai's voice and they're like, I think that's a Jack or Sean, whatever you want to call him, which is why he's named Sean Flynn, which is awesome. A release of Bendy and the Dark Revival is possibly something that's happening this year. I mean, I guess that really depends on what happens with COVID and all that, but that's something to possibly look forward to. But in terms of my general thoughts, I think it's a really cool game. The art style by Pascal is really cool because it's like reminiscent of old cartoons. And from the people that I've talked to who have played it, they say they really enjoy it. It's just that some of the puzzles sometimes are a little complicated or aren't as like good as they should be. But that's essentially the answer to the question. So if you have any questions, let me know and I'll get to answering them as soon as I can. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.